It's a prediction that happens every year. El Nino or La Nina. What will the first few months of the new year bring? This year, it's El Nino. Overall, what you're looking at for this year, particularly in terms of snowpack, is the potential for less snowpack, especially at lower elevations because of the warmer temperatures. El Nino usually leads us to warm and typically dry winters. But notice the way lead meteorologist Rich Marriott starts this next sentence. Well, normally an El Nino means that Overall, we should have warmer than normal temperatures during the winter. This year, the setup is different. The ocean waters that drive our big picture weather are even warmer than normal, creating a situation we haven't seen before. But the, the, the real wild card in all of this is the fact that those uh, forecasts using El Nino and La Nina are based on statistics. And now we have the problem that the climate's changing. So the system is changing and we don't know if those same statistics are going to apply. Will we have the same correlations? In the meantime, many Washington agencies are bracing for this potentially dry spell. In September, Seattle Public Utilities asked 1.5 million customers to voluntarily cut back on water usage. The first time this ask was made since 2015. And right now our reservoirs are lower than we want them to be. So we are concerned about having sufficient water through the end of the year, both for people and for fish. And we want our customers to reduce their water use so we can stretch the water supply. This is due in part to the dry year so far, with reservoirs only getting about a quarter of the typical rain from May to September, but also because of this dry winter outlook, so people are being asked to lend a hand. And really, if everyone just does a little bit collectively, it does add up to make a big difference. SPU says multiple large storms are needed to replenish those reservoirs, but looking forward, there are no guarantees with this forecast. Only way we're going to find out is by moving forward and seeing what happens. Even though every year is unique, we can look back and see what has happened when we've had similar setups in the past as general guidances. For example, in 2014, we saw an El Nino year with record breaking warm temperatures in the winter that caused a lot of moisture to fall as rain instead of snow in the mountains. This has a domino effect. Then on the heels of that 2015's fire season was also record breaking. But once again, ocean temperatures are even warmer than what we've seen in the past. So for this year, we wait and see.